hello guys good morning good afternoon and good evening all depends on your location at this time of the day i'm still updating you situation of things what is going on in nigeria so i have this news to share with you guys remember yesterday the northern elders forum tell president Buhari to allow their friends to go that with the body language of their leaders it seems they are also comfortable because of uh the marginalization which we have seen all right that they cannot afford to stand another civil war so if uh, it's just to allow their friends to go they should give them their way that was the statement by the northern elders forum yesterday then today also the controversial islamic scholar ahmad gumi we know him uh, the person that has been negotiating with bandit on behalf of the government okay has also advised president buhari all right on a step to take with the ipob so gumi urged the federal government to negotiate with uh mazin namdekanu and ipob he was speaking with daily post so um he said the government should be frank in negotiating with the Namdekanu led group and according to him in quote he said government should try to be frank and engage even with ipob's people government should call them you come and sit down let's talk what is the problem government should call them for a dialogue nobody doubts nigeria the problem is that the government is not being considered even with these headsmen all right, so that was uh, the statement of Gumi to Buhari's led government. They should allow, call these people to order. You have seen the marginalization. Everybody have seen it. They are not being considered. Hetzman kills here and nothing has been done. Remember what happened in Oyo State? Nobody is talking about it. Is it about 30 to 50 people were killed? Nobody was talking about it. Even when the son the Iboho wants to Im wanted to invade the forest in Oyo State to fetch those killer headsmen, the military stopped him. Of course. So now tell me, how do you expect other people to feel? The Yoruba nation, you are not doing anything about it. But when it comes to a situation where uh, something happened to any header or any headsman, that is when the government issue a statement so just like um, the elders forum yesterday asking president Wari to let be france go gumi here says the government should call them of course they should have grievances nobody wakes up and decide let me agitate for a freedom 20 years ago wasn't like this I believe 30 years ago, 25, 15 years ago, it wasn't like this. So have the government care enough to call these people what is really the problem? Of course they have not. All right. So as we know that uh, Namdi Kanu has been advocating for actualization of Biafra and they anchored their agitation on uh, alleged marginalization of the Southeast by the government. Of course. Even when the elders, Northern Elders Forum, uh, you know, speak yesterday, they saw everything that the body language of their leaders means they really want Biafra. And Hopu Zodima, in the other hand, when he was reacting to security issues, he said some leaders in the Southeast are not saying anything. What do you want the leaders in the Southeast to say? What do you want them to say? They talk about how it's men uh, kill their people. They are being won. They talk about insensitivity of the government. They send DSS to them. Okay, look at Farambaka. Just to condemn the action of the government. DSS was sent. He was punished. He was being used by a Catholic bishop to give a punishment, 30 days suspension, all those things. And DSS had to invite him just because you are condemning the government. I really don't get it. And they now went as far as, as I'm talking to even the U.S. 
all right i saw a story when donald trump ex-us president remember twitter also banned him when um, he was you know campaigning during i think last year election or is it early this year i've forgotten so donald trump when twitter banned him he didn't ban twitter in the us but now that uh, twitter deleted president buhari's tweet donald trump had to congratulate president buhari telling president buhari that he would have done it can you see the hypocrisy that he would have done it when twitter banned him in us and you didn't do it you were still the sitting president twitter banned you twitter the office is in us you couldn't do anything but he have to um you know congratulate president buhari for banning twitter can you say the hypocrisy hey do it it doesn't make sense i don't know if you guys understand and the current u.s joe biden says the current um, u.s government says nigeria should reverse that twitter ban they should reverse the twitter ban you cannot block 40 million people just for the sake of one person the president is a human being the same blood that runs on his vein is the same blood that runs uh, uh, in every other human being because of one person 40 million people has been restricted banned from using uh, twitter i mean it doesn't make sense okay so that is by the way let me know what you guys even the the former presidential candidate of young people's young uh, progressive party professor kingsley mokhalu had also called on federal government to discuss with namde kanu in the country he insisted that kanu and other secessionists in the country do not possess a threat to nigeria's unity a lot of people are calling but the question is will this administration do that they won't believe me they won't even when they banned twitter like mohammed the anger was uh, twitter didn't delete namdi kanu's um, tweet but had to delete president Buhari's tweet uh, their, their anger was during the answers twitter supported the answers and so on that twitter is destabilizing nigeria and according to him that the more reason why Twitter is banned in Nigeria is because of Namdi Kanu. Imagine that one person is staying somewhere to, you know, to fight the whole nation. It doesn't make sense. So let me know what you guys think. Now that people are beginning to call on the government and worry to call Namdi Kanu and dialogue, let me know what you think. Do you think the government will do so or they will do otherwise? Maybe they will prefer to fight the battle or if they will call ipob for a round table let me know what you think on the comment section below see you in another